So people, I am back with another cyberpunk video and don't turn away, don't turn over, don't switch off. This isn't ca 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 clickbait. No it ain't. That title is legit. Believe it or not. Takamara, shut up. I'm trying to speak. So, you know in this game nowadays you gotta make your own fun. And that's what we're doing today people, we're creating our own fun. Now what's the title say? Read the title back to me, what does it say? It says, Judy and Pan Am. Basically something along the lines of a relationship. Something along those lines people. And that's what I bring you today. Do you know why? Because if you haven't seen my previous video, check. Let me just get in the lift. Let me just get in the lift. Let's just go down here. Okay, so we need to get to the entrance. Check this out. Look at my V. Look at my V. What a story. Oh, that's glitchy. That's buggy. Let, 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 well, I can just do it this way. It's probably easier. Look at my V. My V is Pan Am. My V is Pan Am. In all shapes and sizes, people, my P, my P, my P, my P is Van Am. <laughs> my V is Pan Am. Now, obviously, I don't know if you, like I said, you probably haven't seen my previous video where I show you guys how to create Pan Am. You can kind of do it. We can have her looks on all platforms. You just can't get her hairstyle, her clothing and her complexion on anything but PC. But at the end of the video, I'll show you the exact same thing anyway. It's just a short three or four minute clip of showing you how you can create and install the mods on PC for everything besides her looks, which we will create in the character creation screen. You can also use a save editor as well. So people have no idea what happened there, but the audio on my headset went absolutely crazy. And I had to restart my headset. Could not be playing with that. Could not be playing with that. But what I was saying was, if you've already created your V and you've already got on with the playthrough, You've already started the game, but it's a female and you'd like them to look like Panem. You can also do that via a save editor, which I'll link down below also. But someone brought to me the idea of Judy, Panam together, Lesbiani yo yo yo. Lesbiani yo yo yo. And that's what we're gonna look at today, people. That's what we're gonna check out. And I've also used another mod using Vortex, which again, at the end of the video, I'll show you exactly how you can do that, which allows me to switch out the Joy Toy to Judy. Now you can switch the Joy Toy out to Alt Cunningham, Sandra Dorset, Johnny Silverhand, Takamora, uh, Panam even. I could have Panam, Panam if I wanted to, but I decided to go with Panam Judy. The two top girls in this game, no doubt about it. Now I gotta find that. Where am I? Because I gotta go all the way over there. Oh, this is gonna be a mission, people. And it won't let me mark it. Why not? There we go. It's one of these two anyway. So we're gonna go all the way over there. Now, I've literally just completed the prologue. I need my car. Have I got a car? Don't even think I got a car. I'm just gonna steal one. Why not? Getting you. Get out! Get out of there! I'll be kind in front of the police. They ain't gonna do nothing. I'm gonna drive past the police and I can't do it in first person, it's hard. And this music, what's going down here? We don't like that. We don't like that. But people, are you ready? Pan Am and Judy together in one. I might do a full playthrough. Have a relationship between the two. Imagine that. Want that, people? I mean, like I said, you gotta make your own fun in this game. Because it ain't coming for a while via any DLC or anything because they gotta fix the game first for many, many folks. And in doing that, they're pushing all these DLCs, all these like fixes, or well, I say fixes, it's obviously fixes is what they're working on. But there's many like legendaries in the game which are bugged out and you can't pick them up, you can't collect them, but they're in the file so we know they're there, but they're missing. But even things like that, because I think it's the techie outer torso clothing. Um, it's a legendary, but it ends in the game anywhere, but it is in the files. I believe it is anyway. But yeah. So, like I said, all DLCs and all that, or all, all the goodness, we're gonna be waiting at ages for. So, like, you gotta make it all fun in this game. Gotta make it all fun in this game. Now, oh, look, I can see, I forgot about it. I can see it here. There we go. Look at Panam driving, people! Panam driving, doing a wheel spin. Oh, gotta go left here anyway. 
just just ram him. It don't matter. Just ram him. It don't matter, people. It don't matter. But like I said, after you check this out, the end of the video. Well, it won't be the end of the video for you, but the end of me recording because I've already done them recordings. I will show you how to um, apply Judy as the Fem Joy. Is it a Fem Fem Gem? What is it? What they called again? Not Joy Toys. Joy Toys. That's it. Joy toys. I was calling them Fem Joys. What's a Fem Joy? It's a female Joy Toy. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm absolutely. I'm tired, people. Ignore me. I'm tired. Where's your cute little ass Here's rushing off? I'm rushing off over here because over here we have no one other than Judy. <laughs> but like I said, at the end of uh, my recording right now, we'll get onto how to install Judy as a joy toy and Panama Joy V. I need to look at her. I'm, there we go. There we go. Look at look at look at Judy. We all know Judy loves Panam like the rest of us. You looking for company tonight? <laughs> That's the only problem it will still have, obviously. It? Standard joy toy I'm voice sure. sound and dialogue. This will probably have to be cut people, you ain't gonna be able to see this. Come on, baby. I mean Judy as a joy toy. But like I said, there's many you can use Oak Cunningham, um, Pan Am. You could have Sandra Dorset, and there's probably going to be many, many others coming to people. There really is. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty epic, yo. Epic, yo. Can I take screenshots here? Nope, just sitting down. But yeah, guys, if this is something you want to do, you want to mess about with. This something you want to mess about with? I mean, my Judy just looks, I mean, my Panam just looks incredible. Oh, what did I do? Yeah, look how high I can jump. Look how high I can jump. What is, what's going on here? The flow is lava. Oh. Great. <laughs> That's badass. Now, I don't really mess around for a multi so I probably should. Probably do it a bit more. You know what I'm saying? What are you looking at, Judy? What are you looking at, Judy? There's some evil ass eyes, man. Yeah, she looks like she's following me. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is something that interests you. If you want to either just play as Panem, if you want your your V to look like Panem, this video is for you. If you want your joy toys to switch out to other NPCs. Again, this video is for you and I'll leave you now to watch what you need to do to do those things. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to sure. subscribe. To and hopefully people, I Come will on, see baby. you on that next one. So to install Judy as a joy toy and credit to Camtino for this absolutely incredible mod, I use Vortex which can be used to enable most of your mods for Cyberpunk. Vortex is basically a mod manager, so you do want to go ahead and download this, link is down below. Once you have this installed, it's important to link your Nexus account to it via clicking the login on the top right. This makes things much, much easier and it basically pairs the website and this app. Now before you get any mods at all, it's important via Vortex under the Games tab to search and install the Cyberpunk 2077 add-on. Just search Cyberpunk and it will come up and install this add-on. In doing this, you will see the Cyberpunk 2077 game in the top left corner of Vortex. You can start the game via this too, but you can also start it as normal, it doesn't really matter. Now it's about getting those mods. Now this Judy mod, this Judy Joy Toy Swap mod is linked down below. But with other mods, it's probably best to check that they are supported by Vortex, which it will say. Now the first mod you download to use with Vortex, you should get a notification asking if you want it to automatically download with Vortex. This you do want to click. I ain't getting this because I've already done it, but you will get one. So once you have the mod, in this case the Judy Joy Toy Swap mod, you will see it within the mod tab on Vortex. While the game is not running, you want to install this mod and then click to enable it. 
you will then get a notification to elevate it to the gain, which you need to do to apply the mod. Within this mod tab, you can enable and disable mods as you please. Obviously, when it comes to joy toys and switching them out for NPCs, you only want to use one at a time. As there are multiple choices available, Alt Cunningham, Pan Am, Sandra Dorsey and Judy. So make sure you elevate the game with this mod selected, then start the game and it is as simple as that people and I hope you enjoy it. So to create the perfect Panem and again massive shout out to Lara Craft 101 for the looks, Donmir for the Panem complexion, Willie JW for Panem's hair and Silver Ezridez for the clothing set. Now I will add you can use a save editor to change your current visa lock as long as it's a female V but it is important to first back up your original save. To do this via the save file, I will link the save editor down below and you'll get all the details you need. But also down below will be linked Panem's hair, Panem's complexion and the file in which you will need if you do plan on using the save file. If you plan on creating a new female V, use a guide you'll see on screen in a second and copy what I select. Again, this can be done on console, but you won't have the complexion, nor the hairstyle, nor will you be able to get the clothes. So to install the Panem hairstyle, complexion and to get her clothes, it's pretty simple. Download the files I've linked in the video description, locate your Cyberpunk PC folder, I do this using Steam as you can see on screen now, but if you play on GOG or Epic, paths also can be seen on screen now. Once you've found this folder, go into the archive folder, then into PC and just drag the downloaded hair, complexion and clothing files into the patch folder. If the patch folder doesn't exist for you, simply create one and put the mods in there. Note the complexion file replaces complexion 1 for female Vs. The hair replaces the hair 1 for female Vs. And at this time you can't change your hair colour. The clothing files replace Johnny's clothing items but have absolutely no effect on Johnny's uh, model at all. He's still wearing the same clothes. You can use a console command to get these clothes in game if you play on PC or you can earn them in game via the usual means that's completely up to you. The console command I use is cyber tweaks which I'll also link within the video description if you do want to check that out. So once you are done there guys, follow as I do on screen now and just copy the steps, it's really that simple. Now like I said, if you want to edit an already created female V to look like Panam, you will have to use the save editor. But at the same time, still apply those mod files to that patch folder. And guys, I will leave you now to watch this video and I hope you enjoy it. Again, thanks to all the modders from Nexus who made this possible. Lyrocraft101, Dunmia, Willie JW and Silver. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, leaving a like really helps out. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one. <laughs>